This is section 5.6, Intermediate Forms and L'Hopital's Rule. So, or not in intermediate, indeterminate. So the indeterminate forms are listed here. If you try direct substitution and you get zero over zero, infinity over infinity, infinity over zero, negative infinity over zero, negative infinity over infinity, <clears throat> or infinity over negative infinity. The reason being is you can't tell which one is going to zero or to infinity faster. So in this case, I can't tell whether the numerator is going to zero faster than the denominator. Therefore, what's happening? Um, because if the numerator is going to zero faster, then the whole limit is zero. If the denominator is going to zero faster, then the whole limit is infinity. Here as well, if they're going to infinity at the exact same rate, well then this is just one, reduces down to one. If um, this infinity is bigger than this infinity, then the whole thing may be going to infinity. Whereas if this infinity is bigger than this infinity, then the whole thing may be going to zero. So we just don't know whenever we get an indeterminate form, okay? Or what if these infinities are multiples of each other, then the limit could be going to um, a integer or a fraction. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we have what's called L'Hopital's rule. And it tells us that if we take the limit as x approaches a number, it could be zero, it could be infinity, it could be anything. As long as it's a real number and you have a ratio here. If you were to try direct substitution and get one of these indeterminate forms, L'Hopital's rule says that this limit is actually going to be the same as if you were to take the limit as x approaches that same number, but of the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. This is different than saying that the limit of this fraction is equal to the limit of its derivative, because this is not the way you take a derivative of a fraction. In order to take the derivative of a fraction, you have to use quotient rule, and this is not quotient rule. So L'Hopital's rule is a little bit different than just taking the derivative of what you have. You have to literally take the derivative of the numerator individually from taking the derivative of the denominator. So let's look at example one. It says limit as x approaches infinity of this ratio here. If I were to try direct substitution, I would get infinity plus infinity plus one, which is infinity. And if I were to plug infinity down the stairs, I would get infinity. This is one of those indeterminate forms, okay? So let's see what happens if we apply L'Hopital's rule. I will take the derivative of the numerator, which is 2x plus 1 plus 0, over 2x. Now notice, if I try to do direct substitution now, I still have infinity plus 1, which is infinity, over infinity times 2, which is still infinity. So I still have an indeterminate form which means I can apply L'Hopital's rule again. The derivative of 2x plus 1 is 2, and the derivative of 2x is 2. If I reduce that uh, fraction there, I get 1. And the limit of 1 with no variables, the limit of just a constant, is that constant itself. Now let's move on to example 2. So for example two, we're saying the limit as x goes to zero. Well, if you remember what an exponential function looks like, it looks like this, okay? So as x goes to zero, this function is going to, um, the, um, it's actually going to a value why? I think I wrote down this problem wrong. Let me verify real quick. Okay, no, it is a correct. But as this goes to zero, your y value is going to be one. But then you end up with one minus one, which is zero. And as x goes to zero, the denominator goes to zero. So it is an indeterminate form. Therefore, we'll apply L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator. 
So the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the derivative of the exponent, which is 2. Derivative of negative 1 is 0. The derivative of x is just 1. Now, if I simplify that, it's just 2e to the 2x. So now, if I try to substitute, I get 2e to the 2 times 0, which is 2e to the 0. Anything raised to the power, any real number raised to the power 0 is just 1. And so I get that the limit here is 2. Now, excuse me, for example 3, we have um, this here, and ln of x looks like this. So as x goes to infinity, the y value is going to 0. And as x goes to infinity in the denominator, you get infinity, which is um, actually not one of our indeterminate forms. 0 over infinity is just 0. But let me verify that that's the problem. I'm having a feeling that it's supposed to be approaching negative infinity. Oh no, as I was looking for the example, I realized that my graph is incorrect. That's the graph of e with the negative exponent. ln of x is a logarithmic exponent and it looks like this. So as x goes to infinity, the function is actually increasing without bound, which means it goes to infinity. And the denominator goes also to infinity as x approaches infinity. So we do have one of the indeterminate forms. Now, if I apply L'Hopital's rule, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x, and the derivative of x is 1. So if I simplify that, I just get 1 over x. And if I take the limit as x goes to infinity, this fraction will go to 0. <clears throat> For example, 4, we've seen this before in previous sections. And the way we dealt with it was we multiplied by the conjugate. We had a lot of algebra to do. And that was how we found the limit. Here, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. If I go as x goes to 0, this will become the square root of 36. And 6 minus 6 is 0. And as x goes to 0, I get 0, which is an indeterminate form. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule and take the derivative of this. Well, you bring down the power for the square root, decrease the power by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of what's inside. And the derivative of minus 6 is 0. And the derivative of x is 1. So if I simplify this, I get negative x over the square root of 36 minus x squared. These twos will cancel, leaving me with just negative x on top. And this has a negative exponent, which means it's a square root downstairs. So now if I try to take the limit, I'll get 0 in the numerator, and I'll get just 6 in the denominator. So that's OK. If we direct sub, we'll get 0 over the square root of 36, which is 0 over 6, which is just 0. Last example. If I try to plug directly plug in infinity, I'll get infinity over, let's see, e looked like this, so infinity over 0, which is an indeterminate form. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule. And we get 3x squared over e to the 2x times the derivative of the exponent. However, I still get infinity over 0 here if I do direct sub. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule again. We get 6x over e to the 2x times its derivative, which is 2, but times the 2 that was already there, we get 4. And if I try direct substitution again, I get infinity still over 0. So we apply L'Hopital's rule again, and we get 6 over e to the 2x times the derivative, which is 2x, but multiplied by the 4 that was already there, 
we get 8. Now if I try to do direct substitution, I get 6 over 8 times 0. Well, no, I don't get times 0. I get, yes I do. Oh no, I'm making a mistake here. X is approaching infinity, so this is going to infinity. So your numerator is going to infinity and your denominator was going to infinity. The same was the case here. 3x squared was going to infinity and so was e to the 2x. 6x was going to the infinity and so was e to the 2x. And here I have 6, but the denominator is still going to infinity. So as long as that's going to infinity, your fraction, the whole fraction, will go to zero.